see you in a minute, son. Huh? I said, I'll see you in a minute, son. Alright, bye. Bye. Morning, everybody. Uh, it's about late January, about to start February. We're out at the Martin Ponds and uh, we're gonna see if we can get on some trout today. I uh, had some buddies tell me that they caught 12 over here, so we're gonna give it a rip and see what it's worth. So, here we go. Well, so far, Kate's caught two. The rain kind of started picking up just a little bit. So cold. All right, guys. Uh, this is our boy Jackson, aka JK Abel124. It was really cold this morning, so uh, we called him up and he brought us some jackets and gloves. Golly. Yeah, you gotta believe it. What's up, cuz? Good day. We're gonna head on back. Go get some breakfast, get a warm shower. We got a three little trout, not much, but something in the fridge, so we'll see y'all next time. Back to fishy bees, we got the trout we cleaned. Uh, I'm just gonna show y'all how to clean them real quick. It's the easiest fish to clean. So what you wanna do is, you wanna start at the belly button right here, and you stick down in the belly button. And then you'll feel it, it's like, you'll feel the backbone and you just cut straight down. You can cut these little fins off if you want. I just leave them on there. So you just cut straight down the middle, the belly. And 
and then you just get all the guts out. All right, <clears throat> so a key thing you want to make sure you do is there's all this black stuff in the middle of the spine. You just take a knife and rake down through it, and all that'll come off. And then you just rake it off to the side and wash it off. And but make sure you get all of that out. I don't know what it is, but make sure you get that out. <clears throat> the last thing is most people cut the heads off. I don't know why my grandma says it, but she said if you leave the head on, it's better. So started leaving the heads on, and I can't tell the difference, but makes it easier to clean for me, and she likes it better. So.